Google VO3 is getting really popular right now for animation and video generation. But what can it do for architecture, landscape, interior design, and even urban design? In this video, I'll walk you through how to use VO3, break down the pricing, and share some of the free prompts I've tested that actually work for creating successful video generations. All right, let's dive in and get started. To start using VO3, head over to lbs.google. This is a different site from the one we used in the last video for turning photos into 3D images with Nano Banana, but both are part of Google's AI tools. Once you're on the site, you'll see several model options for things like images and music. This time, make sure to select the flow model. That's the one for video generation. Once you're in, start by creating a new project. Flow gives you three video options, text to video, frames to video, and ingredients to video. Let's kick things off with its strongest feature, text to video, using the VO3 model. For this test, I wrote a prompt asking the AI to generate a Mexican style garden, starting from an empty backyard. Don't worry, I'll share all of the prompts at the end of the video. The generation took about a minute, but honestly, the result wasn't quite as strong as another test I did with slightly different prompts. Anyway, I wanted to edit this video by adding more motion and effects. Just click the top left corner on Add to Scene. From there, you can pick any frame of the video and save it as an asset. That frame then becomes the starting point for your next video. In this case, I asked it to transform the last frame where the garden was in spring into a winter version. Here, I kept the prompt super simple and the AI understood it really well. The scene cycles through all four seasons, starting in spring with fresh greenery, shifting into summer with bright colors, then autumn with warm tones, and finally winter covered in snow. Meanwhile, the camera slowly pans across the garden, adding a cinematic feel. The final video actually turned out pretty good. If you want to add more details between frames, just click add a frame, choose your end frame, and then write a prompt describing what you'd like to happen between those start and end frames. Now let's talk about pricing. If you're a new user, you start with 100 free credits. Since each video costs 20 credits, that means you can generate up to five videos for free. The pricing starts at £18.99 per month for the Google AI Pro plan. You do get a free trial for the first month and it comes with 1,000 monthly AI credits. If you upgrade to Google AI Ultra, it jumps to £119.99 per month. Now, when it comes to VO3, the Pro plan gives you around 50 fast videos, but only about 10 high quality VO3 videos. So yeah, this plan definitely isn't cheap. And if you remember from the beginning of the video, the ingredients to video feature is only available for subscribed users. So let's take a look at how this function actually works. Here I used an architectural model and a forest background as the ingredients. You can actually add more than two images if you want. Then just write a prompt describing the scene. In this case, I asked for a brutalist KFC building popping up in the middle of the forest. It turns out this feature isn't supported on VO3 yet, so you'll need to switch over to VO2 to use it. And here you can also control how many outputs you get from each prompt. I made the prompt as detailed as possible to get the best result the two images blended together really well. 
The camera angle fits nicely with the tall forest trees and the building holds up great. It even adds birds and a vibrant environment around it. I generated two videos from the same prompt and personally I prefer the first one. Drop a comment, which one do you prefer? Also, I noticed that when I only use text to video, the quality of the building or the architecture itself isn't as strong compared to when I provide an ingredient image that I generated in mid-journey. Honestly, I don't quite know how to describe Google's AI images and videos. You know, you can always tell they're AI generated. They have that kind of gaming look with textures that don't feel completely real. On the other hand, when it comes to the same environments, architecture or landscape design, Midjourney does a much better job. For me, Midjourney is still my favorite AI tool for both images and video. The quality is extremely high, detailed, artistic, and especially impressive when you use the right prompts. That said, different AI tools serve different purposes, so it really depends on what you're trying to do. And when it comes to realistic renderings, Midjourney really nails the lighting and materials. I like being able to personalize the models so I can get visualization outputs that actually fit my needs. I've also shared my personal parameters in the Midjourney Prompts guidebook. You'll find them in the last chapter. Back to VO3. I went ahead and bought the pro plan and tested a ton of prompts. To be honest, some of them didn't work at all. So so to save you both money and time, I've collected all of my successful prompts and put them in the link below. You'll find the videos along with the exact prompts I used so you can copy them and try them out yourself. I'll keep updating this list as I experiment more, so make sure to check back often. And if you come up with your own successful prompts, feel free to share them in the comments. That way we can all learn from each other and push the limits of what VEO3 can do. The prompt collection is completely free. You can find the link in the video description. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. It really helps me keep creating more content like this. I need more trees. <laughs>